this is Jody from Jody's Touch of Style. And one of the things I love to do is figure out how to change up a piece, a print, anything that you already have in your closet and make it work in so many other ways than just the norm. For example, let's talk buffalo plaid. I have a flannel buffalo plaid shirt, which I'm sure all of you are comfortable wearing with jeans. It's the go-to casual kind of outfit. But really, your buffalo plaid can be dressed up pretty easily with a couple of changes. Let's start with accessories. We all know that sparkle and shine and pearls can dress up almost anything. For example, you could wear a pearl necklace, put on your pearl earrings, and that would give your buffalo plaid a little bit of sass, a little bit of upgraded look, especially if you're out to eat and someone only sees you from the top up anyway. Another easy way to do that would be with a statement sparkle necklace. I always think these kind of necklaces make anything. I usually wear them even with chambray denim but wearing them with your buffalo plaid look at how it just pops against the dark print isn't that gorgeous and then put on some sparkle earrings and you're ready for christmas now another easy way to make your buffalo plaid look a little more dressy would be with the faux fur you know the faux fur is so in style right now and a fur vest will give it a little more texture, make it look a little more wintry, if that's possible, and, and give it a little class. And then don't forget your shoes. Like right now, I'm wearing just a normal cognac loafer. But even with a pair of jeans, if you would grab your black patent pumps, you would elevate this look in a heartbeat. You'd be ready to go out to dinner and look more polished. Okay, so now I want to explore your buffalo plaid in a different way. Now, another way that to me says dress up is lace. So if you had a lace skirt or a lace dress, you could layer a buffalo plaid over that lace. I only have a white lace shirt, but even putting this shirt over the white lace makes it look more polished. And I love how the white pops the red and black that way. Of course, the easiest way to make your buffalo plaid shirt look just a little dressy is add a black skirt. I'm sure everyone has a black skirt, black heels, and having a skirt or a dress on instantly makes things look a little fancier. You can do this with a black dress. Everyone has their LBD, little black dress. Just put your shirt over top and then it looks like a skirt. Um, if it's too long, you can always tie it at the waist and then it instantly makes your legs look longer. Now let's talk about different colors with buffalo plaid print. Wearing it with jeans is always a go-to. I think everyone who likes to match will understand that a black and red print goes perfect with your black jeans. One way to make it look a little more modern is go with a either coated jean or leather jean or faux leather jean. It adds a little shine to the mix and makes it look a little more safe, modern. Even with your neutrals, gray is a perfect addition to a black and red because it's basically a lighter shade of black. So there's lots of different grays. This one's more of a medium gray. But even your dark gray, which almost looks black, 
or a light gray would look perfect with this. Let's go to the opposite extreme. The other neutral, then black would be white. And see how white really pops the red and black? Really makes it stand out and you notice it. That's why I always love white jeans any time of the now year. Now let's go away from neutrals and go to colors. Olive green is actually almost a neutral in the fact that it's almost a brown with just a little bit of a green tint. But I think it looks great with this buffalo plaid because we know red and green are complementary colors. They look great together. Um, and this is one way to put them together and not look real Let's crisp. get a little crazy with our color combination. Pink and red may have been a faux pas in the past, but now it's fun and vibrant. I think a darker pink like this pair of jeans looks better since the red and black are very vibrant and saturated. So a more saturated pink looks great, but don't put it past the blush to look great with this red and black too. My suggestion is take your shirt and hold it up to every pair of jeans you have. And I bet you'll be surprised at how it looks great with almost every now pair. Now let's closet. talk about other prints to mix with our Buffalo Pratt plaid. I know it's a print, so most of us think we can only put it with a solid, like your jeans. But let me show you how it'll work with other prints and how you can get your toe wet at print mixing. The easiest way to print mix if you're first starting is two different ways. One with the same kind of color scenario and two with something far away from this print. So let me show you with shoes first. A pair of leopard booties is the perfect print mixing because leopard is a neutral. Your booties are far away. They are separated by your pants, which here are solids. And so this is a great way to add your leopard to your buffalo plaid. Now let me show you with a leopard scarf that's closer to my face and closer to me. You may not feel comfortable wearing your scarf and the booties together, but you can easily put your neutral scarf right next to your buffalo plaid. And because there's black in the scarf and brown's a neutral, that's why it goes so well with your buffalo plaid. So for those of you that get a little nervous with mixing prints, like I said, one of the easiest things to do is to match some of the colors. So with any color scheme, black and white is easy to print mix with. And because there's black in a buffalo plaid, the red and black buffalo plaid, then black and white works well with it. And going with a print that is very subtle. So this polka dot print from far away probably looks like a black solid shirt instead of polka dot. And so you would feel probably more comfortable with something, a small print with a large print like this. Now let me let let me in, let me let you in on a secret. This polka dot print is actually navy. It's not even black. But don't be put off by your navy versus black. So many times if you're having trouble figuring out what color it is, everyone else will too, and it looks great. Navy and black look good together. We're not it's not a faux pas to put them together right now. So you can mix and match and I bet no one would even know that this is navy. So another example of a print that is more subtle is a either white and black plaid or hound's tooth, the really small plaid. So I'm really wearing two plaids here, but from far away, my pants probably look more of a gray which we know is a neutral, which I've shown looks great with the buffalo plaid. So there's another option of putting two prints together, and these are right by each other, but yet it almost looks like you've paired your print. Let's get a little more adventurous with our print mixing. 
with black and white still. But this time I went with a shirt that the stripes are bigger. It's obviously stripes from far away. And this is obviously a plaid. But because this is black and white, and this is red and black, it looks great together. Here's another example of a black, a bigger black and white with the red and black buffalo plaid. It's a houndstooth and it's a bigger print. You can obviously see that it's a print over a print here. But I think this is a great way because the cardigan jacket is covering, especially from the back, it covers the red and black. And so you really only see it some of the time, but it still looks now bringing in another color, but a more subtle print would be this green plaid jacket. From far away, it probably just looks like olive green, but you can see up close that it's actually a plaid. And so I have two plaids together, which if you ever notice guys, especially newscasters, do that all the time. So don't be afraid of it. This is giving you some great ideas for that buffalo plaid item that you have in your closet, whether it's a shirt, whether it's a skirt, heck, even if it's a scarf. There are so many ways you can wear it with so many different colors and so many other prints that your closet will seem twice as big. Thanks for joining. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you later.